There you go, there's your circle, right? Now, watch out for this. This is part of why I'm asking you to draw it, okay? And which you kind of got cheated a little bit because you thought, oh, there's a diagram there, I don't need to worry about it, okay? Put on your diagram all of the information that you need. So you have some angles, a measurement here, okay? Now, if you didn't think carefully about this, your first error was just in interpreting the diagram, right? The area that you had to work out was this shaded area, yes? Like so, okay? A lot of people worked out the rest of the area that wasn't shaded because we didn't interpret it correctly, right? And actually drawing it, going through the process of drawing it, helps you work out, okay, which bits are important to me? Okay, so the first thing you can do is, we can work out the area of a circle, right? It's not 2 pi r or q pi r. What's the area of a circle? Pi r squared. Pi r squared, thank you very much. And how do you remember that it's pi r squared and not the other one? Pi r squared is the um, pi r squared. He's on the right track. Who can help him out? Who can finish Ali's thought? Yeah. Because like the area of something is in squared. And so yeah, very good. Okay, so we say like centimeter squared or meter squared or whatever. Okay, so that's how you can remember, right? So you can work that out, and that's where the first mile went. Two marks, right? So you had to input into here that the radius of this circle is... Uh, five. Five, right? Five, five, um, five, five squared. There you go. Five squared. Okay. So you can know it's five because you've got this measurement here, and the radius is from the circumference to the center, and the center is always O. Okay? So, so far, so good. You can then get your calculator out, and I think you get 78.54 something, okay, something like that. Actually, I might just, um, if you've got your calculator there, you can double check and verify this answer, but that was the first mark, okay? So a lot of people only knew how to work out the area of the circle, and that was okay. That gave you one mark out of two. Okay, yeah, five, four. Two decimal places. Okay, so there's your first step. Now we just want this little share, okay? And if you might recall, this part of it, like a pizza slice, right? It's called a sector, right? So we just want the sector. How much of the circle is shaded is part of that sector. So you've got 60 degrees, right? You've got 60 degrees here. You need to remember, what's, what's the whole circle? What's all the way around? And it's 360 degrees, right? So I might put that in, in another color. 360 degrees, okay? So out of those 360 degrees, we've got 60 of them. Okay, 60 degrees out of 360. So it gives you this fraction, right? Now you know it's division because it's like, look, I'm trying to divide this circle up into parts and this is the part that I'm interested in, okay? You can check on your calculator or you may even be able to recognize that that's one out of six, okay? So you want a sixth of the circle, a sixth of this area, okay? So the way I would have written it is to say, therefore, the shaded area is equal to, and here's where the second mark came in, a sixth times this whole area that we worked out before, which is 13.09 centimeters squared because you went to two decimal places. Oh. Okay.